Welcome to Smart Business Show for October 3rd, 2018. It's going to be our last show from this office, which is great. Actually, I'm going to be the second last show because I have an interview to record tomorrow, which will come out in a few weeks. Anyways, with Matt Medeiros, uh, which will be good. I want to talk to Matt about um, why he left Slocum Studio and went to go work for Pagely and just have it all worked out for him uh, and why he made those choices because he was running his own business, which was you know quite successful with his family. Anyway, today we're going to talk about personal branding or business branding? Uh, and that's what the question came in as, should I brand myself as me or should I get a company name that's really just me behind it? Uh, I actually do both. So what you're looking at right now, the Smart Business Show is actually really runs under my own site at curtismichael.ca. Uh, and my co- so my coaching side of my business, my product side is me. Um, and now my WordPress membership development business is sfndesign.ca. And that's a business that is not, I guess it's not to me. It really is just me, but it's not to me in theory. So I think there's two considerations really when you look at this. So first off, um, it might be a little easier to build your own reputation uh, as you uh, when you're getting started with your own name because you do everything under that name, right? You do everything under Curtis McHale, Sam Granger, Harry Potter, whatever. Um, and it lets you maybe have a little more leeway to wear yourself out there, to just be you and a uh, client say, it's just you, it's not a business and you don't have to worry about it as much. What it doesn't provide you though, is the ability to withdraw from the business in many ways. So if I'm coaching, if it's Curtis McHale coaching, then you're expecting to talk to Curtis. If I have a bunch of other coaches under me, other stuff like that, then it's really hard to um, extract myself from the business and run it. And we talked about clockwork a couple episodes ago. It's harder to extract myself and run it um, like that so that it is just me so that um, I can withdraw myself and let the business run automated. So that means if I take my foot off the gas pedal, then the business slows down because it's not, you know, I'm not providing services to people. So those are the, the big considerations there. Um, I think if you want to build something that's sellable that you can really um, not get rid of, but you know, move out of net later in life, move out of because you're not interested anymore or because you just want to be able to run it automated, you want to be a business owner, not necessarily in the business, then probably starting out with your business name is an important thing. Uh, if you're not sure if you're really struggling to build a reputation as a business, then maybe, you know, going under your name and operating under your name all the time and just being you and, you know, wearing yourself out there on your sleeve is a better way to do it. So that's my thoughts on it. If you have any other questions, leave me a comment uh, or shoot me an email, curtis at curtismichael.ca. If you're on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're in your podcast player of choice, share it, star it, like it, leave me a review on iTunes. Thanks very much for watching. Have an awesome day.